This will be the Nut and Fancy review on the Zero Tolerance 0160. Actually, I'm just kidding you guys. I just went to freeze frame right there. <laughs> I love doing that once in a while. I know you're clicking your computer screens like, what happened, man? My internet connection died. Actually, how many of you guys were just watching your timer? The timer's still going because that's how you know you've been pent by nothing fancy. Hey, guys, nothing fancy project, fixed blade review. What to say, what to say on the zero tolerance, 0160. Well, this is what to say. I don't buy into ZT hype, guys. I just don't. I know a lot of you guys uh, really love Zero Tolerance. You're very enthusiastic about the brand. On some of their models, I am. Few, I have to say honestly. I don't buy off on that. I don't buy off on Topps hype, Kershaw's, Cold Steel's, Sogs, nobodies. It, I just look at the what is the knife. What does the knife do for me? What value level does it represent? Is it cool looking? And I will say the ZT0160 shifter is the name of it, by the way, is very cool looking. But there are some issues I have with the blade. And I'm going to cover them here like I always do. Just laying the facts on the table and you do the final deciding. What do you say? And I'll tell you what, dudes, I'm not going to charge you extra for the gun oil stain on the reviewing cloth. How's that? Oh, that's right. The video is free anyhow. Here we go, 160, philosophy of use. Hmm. 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 I've covered this lots, man. It is a stainless steel fixed blade, and it's a strong flix, flixed, fixed blade option for you. I think it's too heavy as a woods knife. That's just me. I could be crazy. Um, I'm going to show you some other options here uh, when we get to competitive options that I think are just about as heavy, but I prefer because I think they offer more strength and better ergonomics for me and my hand size than the shifter. So I would say woods blade, yeah, if you're willing to carry a, a five inch blade that weighs, uh, what is it, 11.4 ounces. The knife itself is 8.2 ounces with the sheath, which by the way is excellent, 11.4. You could use it as a woods blade, woods crafting. Tactical blade, could you use it? Yeah, you could. I've reviewed and recommended some other stainless steel fixed blade options that with their kydex sheath will weigh near that weight witness the SOG Northwest Ranger riding in a Red Hill kydex custom sheath Desert Digicam it's a good option soldier knife to the LBE yeah could be and then collectible I think that's what a lot of guys will do is they just like ZT knives they like the ZT fixed blade it rounds out their Kershaw slash ZT collection could be a good good addition for that maybe a gift item don't know. I'm just going to leave it at that. Weight, I think it just feels heavy to me. Nothing fancy with a weight issue. Always with a weight issue. I've made some headway in the gear world because I harp so much on the weight issue. Absolutely. It's just a heavy knife. It's a kind of a thicker slab of steel. 0.155 inches is the thickness on it. That's good, right? Nothing? Uh, yeah, it could be. Depends on what you're doing with it. You know, flat ground blade from the upper spine region here. Not hollow ground. I think it's a strong blade for what it is. It is a rather elegant clip blade. And that's what attracted me to 0160 initially. How many times have you heard that in my reviews? It's like, oh, this knife, classic lines, I, I'm attracted to it. And I will admit, I, I'm the same way with this blade. I like the blade shape, the graceful curve right here, unsharpened swedge, the precise tip that the shifter offers. It comes out of the box very sharp. Great relief edge on it. Incidentally, this is serial number 0635. I do like how ZT, i.e. Kershaw, does that. The balance, I think, is a little bit handle heavy for me. You could, I don't know, perceive it differently. I don't know. Feel is excellent. There is jimping on the top side. Most excellent. And it's well done. That is well executed jimping and that adds a lot to the ergonomics. 14C28 in, 14C28 in steel by Sandvik. We see it lots in, in the Kershaw lineup. Relatively rust resistant, fine grained. It takes a very nice edge. I just reviewed, what was it? The Skyline Fixed Blade. 
and that had a, a very nice edge on it as well out of the box and then the 14 c 28 n blades from Kershaw that I've slapped on the EPA come out insanely sharp DLC coated so it should be durable that's not Teflon so it won't wear off uh, I'm, I did not put hard use on this blade because I'm selling it Mrs. Nut and Fancy demands it make them room for more stuff that I can review for you five inch blade five inch blade is there a place for a five inch fixed blade in your system absolutely I said that when I reviewed the fixed blade skyline it depends on what you're pairing it with to round out your system for me I usually gravitate and talk more about the wilderness systems ie backpacking and how will the knife integrate that's kinda how I look at it so how will it integrate five inch blade as an overall your only choice and you're not taking anything else no way too small getting back to kinda like the wilderness blade POU okay so you guys probably can detect I'm not super stoked on the blade and this is why the handle the handle is what pretty much sinks the shifter for me number one it's just too damn short for me large size hands this bump comes right into my pinky it's just too small it's like oriental sized it's just too small for me I don't have enough real estate on it add into the fact we got a hump here and a hump here there's your very shallow finger choil and it just doesn't fit me moreover it's got squared shoulders on it I wouldn't say shoulders but the whole plan form on the 0160 handle is rectangular and I don't find it exceptionally comfortable who knows you might I do like the hammer pommel the sucker has on it that's cool I just wish the handle came out to around here but none fancy that would add a like another ounce I would take it it would save the knife for me honestly if it had a longer handle and I would really like to get rid of this I just hate it when knives have that a real sharp transition I think the idea there is that it's going to give you more control and more I don't know, traction what I find is when I do a heavy duty chopping task it just batters my pinky I just get slammed right there and I don't dig it that's where the problem lies with me the handle obviously a full side or full tang knife as you can see triangular pommel there's your lanyard hole right there attached by torque screw so you can take it apart take it off it's a ham handle no guard by the way so notice I didn't mention the tactical philosophy of use that's pretty much why I just for me uh, you know emergency defensive use could be and you do have that shallow finger choil under here jimping top side I just the knife to me in hand does not inspire confidence because the handle is so ill-fitting to my hand there you go keeping it real the sheath however is a work of art and it is pretty much perfection it's wearing the American sportsman's products clip that I've been talking about since 2008 I love this clip it's actually a lighter weight version of that I think it's lighter I could be wrong it's a great sheath though kydex has a hypalon retention strap it fits perfect it's waterproof it's durable it snaps in you don't have to use a strap recommend it especially if you do decide to put this in a soldier philosophy of use and wear it upside down big old screws retaining the the attachment method there not really molly capable with that strap I've talked about that in some other reviews before because it's not narrow enough but with this you can put 550 through these slots right here and could totally weave it into an LBE or something like that drain hole right there work of art I love the sheath I wish more knives had that sheath and then we get into of course competitive options I'm still loving this knife speaking of tops you know I don't buy their hype either but I love this knife this is a tops Pesatin light traveler 11 ounces 154 steel about 130 bucks which incidentally is the same price for the ZT 0160 shifter I would much prefer this knife much let's compare them side by side and I'm showing you mostly if not all stainless fixed blade medium sized maybe smaller sized blades because we could throw on all kinds of carbon steel blades and you could take your pick from there but to me there's a, a much smaller availability of stainless uh, wilderness blades I'll call them I love this knife I love the shape look at now there's a handle guys compare the, the difference on those handles here you go I mean it's so evident right here the difference in comfort shaped to the human hand it's rounded it's just beautiful 
and that the blade actually extends below your knuckles for chopping tasks. How about the 160? Not, not so much. Oh my gosh, nothing you're a kook. I know. How about the Kershaw? Hey, I gave some love to this one, dudes. What is that? The Kershaw 1085 Disc and Hunter. That's also 14C 28 in steel. Much lighter at 7 ounces, 50 bucks. Now there's a knife. You want a lightweight wilderness blade? Told you. The only thing that sucks about this is the sheath and its jimping is just an embarrassment. Horrible, horrible jimping. Oh my goodness, this is a fun review. How about this one? Cold Steel SRK San Mai. Come on down. Dudes, 11.2 ounces. By the way, this was donated to the project by an awesome team peer. Awesome guy. I need to break out a review just on this knife because he did it. Don't donate anything to me. I'm not soliciting at all. I don't want it. Keep it. This is a great knife though. 11.2 ounces. So here we are at the same weight of the 0160 shifter. About 130 bucks. So the price is exactly... Well, I could be off. I think the San Mai might have gone up. I don't know. Great knife though. I like the San Mai 3. It's a great steel. It's stainless. It's a laminated steel. Let's check out the ergonomics handle wise. About the same length. Nothing. I know. But look at that. Just feels so much better in hand. And I, this is not a really pronounced bump like that one is. Fits me better. What can I say, man? I'd prefer the SRK. Totally would. What else I got on the table? Well, I already talked about the Northwest Ranger. I raved about this knife. 50, 60 bucks. That's a black version. Much lighter. This is a much lighter knife. 8.6 total carry weight, OS 8 steel, 51 bucks, we'll call it. Perfection jimping. Let's see size wise. Dudes, they're the same size. Check that out. Between the 0160 SOG Northwest Ranger. Yeah, I'll go Ranger, thank you very much. How about the S1 Force knife by Falk Neven? Don't you know if I'm saying that right still. This knife rocks, laminated VG10. Folk Neven, 9.8 ounces. It's lighter than this one with a better handle for me. Now, if you're smaller hand uh, sized, I think you'll like the shifter better, albeit it's still that rectangular shape. I don't know. I don't know. This is a cool knife. I need to review that one sometime. It has flats for resharpening, and so does the shifter, actually. This has flats for sharp sharpening. I just cut my review cloth again. I've got like slices all over it from nice knife blades. Meaning that you can lay it on your consistent angle sharpener and really keep a nice stable edge with your media as you do that. So there you go. 0160 shifter by Kershaw. <clears throat> Zero tolerance. Uh, I don't dig it so much. Sorry, I just don't. I love the sheath, but the handle just sinks it for me. I think I've made that abundantly clear. You might like it, though. You may love it. Thanks for watching.